In this video we're going to look at histograms and have a look at what they do, what they are and how we can uh, calculate problems from them. A histogram, okay, let's just write it up, a histogram, is similar to a bar chart but in terms of the height, they, it's not all about the height, it's about the area and the area is proportional to the frequency. So what we do is we take a continuous scale along the bottom of class widths and then what we do is represent the uh, frequency by area. Now what we're going to do is look at uh, some examples of this and I'll, I'll graph some up and then we'll look at answering some questions from them. Now what I've got here is the following. This is a typical table and we'll put it on a graph. I think the best thing, let's go back now. The best thing for me to start working these out is to appreciate the following. Frequency density, FD, is the frequency divided by class width. Class width is going to be equal to, all we do is swap these over. So if you've done any rearranging of formulae, multiply it by the class width, divide down by the frequency density. So that's going to be frequency divided by frequency density. And then, of course, frequency if we just multiply both sides by the frequency density, frequency density multiplied by class width. Now, if you can remember these, the rest is fairly straightforward because you can just work them around. Even if you can't remember them, if you remember one, you can rearrange to find the others. So what we've got here is frequency and we've got the class width. The class width on this one is uh, 10 between 40, and, uh, sorry, it's 40, between um, 40 and zero with zero included, 40 not. The next one is 10, the next one is 10, the next one is 10, and the final one is 30. So they're unequal class widths. What we're gonna do is draw this up as a histogram. Uh, and I'll get some uh, axes on here. So along the, the Y axis, we always have our frequency density. And along the bottom, we have our class uh, our classes. So that should work for that. And what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to do 0 to 40, so that's going to be just here. So this is the, uh, here are your classes, and I'll just change your pen so you can see that a little better. So here's going to be 0 to 40, here will be uh, 40 to 50, this will be 50 to 60, 60 to 70, and then finally uh, 70 to 100. And that will give us, is that has that got enough on? Have I done it? No, no, no. I've started, I've done 0 to 30. Right, let's move from a long one. So 0 to 40 wanted, not 30. I was wondering why I come up with 9. Okay, and then that's going to be there and we'll end up with that. So this one here, we would write, and I'll write this one uh, horizontally, would be zero, which is included, so the weight of whatever it was, chocolate bars or something, whatever goes there. Now this one is going to be 40 to 50, 40 is included, and the strict inequality excludes the 50. So this, um, um, I'd write that uh, if I was able to write it um, vertically. 40, uh, that's included, width, but in turn less than 50. And again, this one would be uh, the 50 to 60 with the same notation. This would be the 60 to 70, same notation. And then finally the 70, which is included. So the weight is between 70 and 100, 100 excluded. This right here is the frequency density. How we do that is, remember going back, frequency density, FD, frequency density is frequency divided by class width. So what we'll do, we'll work some out and we'll put it in this little box. So frequency is 5, 5 divided by 40, okay, 5 divided by 40 is 1 eighth, which is going to be 0 0.125. So 0 0.125, that is the frequency density. 6 divided by 10, class width is 10, that's 10 units, frequency is 6, 6 divided by 10, 0 0.6. 8 divided by 10, 0 0.8, 4 divided by 10, 0 0.4, and 2 divided by 30, uh, which is going to give us, what's that going to give us, 1 over, um, 1 over uh, 15, which is going to be 0 0.06, I mean, along those lines, so uh, 1 15, 0 0.06 recurring, 
Yeah, so we'll call it 0 0.6 recurring. 0 0.06 recurring. Right, so if we look at our frequency density, we're going to do this up here. And this suggests now that I'm going to make my frequency density. We've got a maximum of 0 0.8. So if we call this one 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So now frequency density is uh, complete at the left hand side. All we have to do now is um, make the, the bars. So how I'm going to do this is, uh, in fact, we'll get a, do it with a shape. Let's do it with that one. We'll do it with this. So first one is 0 0.125 and remember this is now the frequency density so I need it to be approximately and it's going to be give or take uh, about there. Okay let's get that right there. Admittedly that's not fantastic in terms of this end of it. Let's just make that look a bit uh, more realistic. Okay, so it's going to be somewhere along those lines. In fact, um, that's, this is just going to annoy me. So I'm going to do it, uh, I'll do it with some straight lines instead. So if I do them with a black one, we're going to have approximately, it's going to be about there. And then we're going to drop it down to the line and then there. So that's the first one, 0 0.125. The next one, 40 to 50, needs to be 0 0.6, which is going to be just there. And just there. So now you can see that these bars are representative, so they're proportional to area rather than just being height related. And then we're going to have 0 0.8, which is going to be for 50 to 60. And I appreciate my accuracy isn't hugely impressive right now, uh, but please, when you're doing it, take a, a bit more time. And then finally, 0 0.006, which is going to be pretty small. So 0 0.06 is going to be somewhere just about, uh, give or take, a bit about there. So there we go. There's our histogram. So here's class width and here's the frequency density. And we can work from that. So there's how to construct one. What we're now going to do is look at uh, solving problems when we're given histograms. Here's the frequency density and here's the, the classes. So we can see unequal classes again. And what we are asked to do is find out how many leaves have less than six centimetres. So the, the key part here is what it's asking us to do. It's asking us now how many. How many means frequency. So automatically I go to my little formulae and say that frequency. Now if we think frequency, we'll put more up. Frequency density is frequency divided by class width. Class width multiplied by frequency density is going to be frequency. And then finally, we're going to have um, the class width is going to be equal to frequency over frequency density. So which one are we going to use? Well, we want this one for frequency. So it's going to be class width, which is 4, multiplied by the frequency density. So the frequency density on the first part over 2, we'll do it in two parts, 4 times by 1, that accounts for 4, that part just there. Now, 6 centimetres is just here, so now the, the class width is 2 and the frequency density is 2.5, so I've got 2 times by 2.5, which is going to be 5, and I'm using this, uh, that one just there, frequency is the class width times frequency density, so there are 9. How many... Uh, leaves have length greater than nine centimeters so that this is this one and then the next one to it class width is one frequency density is two so the answer is going to be two for that one now this one right here is two multiplied by one which is two so the class width is two the frequency density is one two times by one is two how many leaves did she measure well let's look at this one Class width is 1, and the frequency density is 4. 1 times 4 is 4. Class width is 2. Frequency density is 3. 2 times 3 is going to be 6. So we add for 10 to these two and get 23. So this is why I think getting used to these can help, um, and then picking what you've got to do. Maybe you perhaps don't find that helpful. I certainly like to, to have it up. Right. The age of each person in a coach party is illustrated in the histogram below. 
We don't have frequency density this time, and we're told that there's six people in the 70 to 80 age range. So again, frequency density is equal to frequency divided by class width. Class width is equal to frequency over frequency density, and then frequency is the two multiplied CW FD. Now, if we think about it, what we've got here, this, uh, 70 to 80, that's uh, this one right here. So what we can say is the information that we've got, if you look at what we're after now, we're after, we've got the frequency and we've got the class width. So frequency is equal to 6, class width is equal to 10. We want the FD, the frequency density. Well, frequency density, as we know, is frequency divided by class width. So frequency divided by class width is going to be 6 divided by 10, which is 0 0.6. So that's 0 0.6. From that, we can start building up the scale. So on here, let's build up the scale. So 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 1.0, 1.2, and so on and so forth. So how many people are there in the 45 to 50 age range? Well, this is the one just here, isn't it? So the class width, CW, is equal to 5. The FD now is 0 0.8. The frequency density is 0 0.8. So what do we want? We want the frequency. So frequency, remember, is class width multiplied by frequency density. 5 times by 0 0.8 is 4. So there are 4 people. That accounts for 4 people. How many people are in the 50 to 70 age range? So we've got two to deal with this time. This one is 15 by 1.2. So frequency density is 1.2. Class width is 15. 15 times by 1.2 should give you 18. Yeah, that sounds right. And then this one, the 65 to 70, five wide and one high. Five times one, five. So your answer is going to be 23. Now, that's, that's about the lot of it. The only thing that now you may be asked to do is you'll be told that there were five people, and this wasn't included, I don't think, in the question. There were five people uh, aged 20 to 30 uh, complete the histogram. So what we want, we've got five people, so the frequency is equal to uh, five and the class width is equal to ten. So frequency density is going to be frequency divided by class width. Five divided by ten is going to be a half or 0 0.5. So all we need to do to complete this is put this on. 0 0.5 is going to be somewhere just there. And then we just draw it in. And job done. So there we go. That's now a completed histogram. So that's pretty much the scope of what you're going to be asked to do. Um, it's finding a relationship between one or the other. You may have a table, and I'll look at some uh, more questions in a later video.